Hello everyone, good morning or good evening wherever you are and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lamia and this is The Lam Style and I am your personal stylist. So I come here and share with you everything related to fashion, some styling tips and some information that might help you with your fashion choices and your style on an everyday basis. So today's subject is very exciting because most of my clients ask me about this one specific thing how to build the capsule wardrobe so the thing is with capsule wardrobe is that it's very uh, practical for people who are minimalistic who for those who want to build their wardrobe from scratch someone who wants to change their style someone who has a lifestyle changes usually I receive that request a lot from my clients because it is the first thing that they think of when they are thinking of changing their wardrobe or going shopping so they want things to be very coordinated they want to be able to mix and match outfits and in this video I'm going to share with you a bit of my secrets that I have kept for myself. I tend to create a lot of capsule wardrobe and because of my extensive practice around the capsule wardrobe I have noticed that the main bit about creating a wardrobe capsule is the versatility, is the tendency to be either classic or uh, creative or romantic so depending on the person that you are creating the capsule wardrobe for so you need to understand the style personality of the person before you start purchasing items that will build the capsule wardrobe. So what I'm going to share with you here is very simple steps to create a capsule wardrobe for the classic, minimalistic, timeless style personality or style. If your style is similar to this, then stick with me and I will show you how to build your capsule wardrobe like a pro. Let's not forget, in the end of this video, I will share with you my technique that I create with any capsule wardrobe for anyone. The simplest technique that you can apply yourself is called 636 and this is uh, a technique that I teach my clients and let them create their wardrobe. So for the coats and jackets I have here a few, few um, suggestions. I'm going to put them in the screen next to me so that you can screenshot it if you want to. So the first, um, uh, the first uh, item I'm going to share with you will be the wall blend coat simple one with uh, with um, a belt that helps emphasize the waistline whatever body shape you are this is perfect for you also the leather long leather jacket is very um, I would say it's classic and trendy at the same time it is classic because you can still wear it in like in future even if it's not trendy but it's very trendy for 2024 so I added it in this suggestion so that you can have an idea of some trendy items that you can just include in your capsule wardrobe so the long leather jacket or full leather jacket also is a very nice piece it can fit with a lot of um, you know styles and outfits and it's very versatile you can just mix and match it the third item is the bomber jacket you need the bomber jacket so if the two other coats are long the bomber jacket that I chose is a short one so that it looks more sporty more for everyday more fitted to a very casual day all right, so the next category is jumpers. The jumpers or knitwear has to be also versatile. So it has to be thin and it has to be chunky. Unless you don't like the chunky, then don't go for it. But first you need the turtleneck. It has to be, be dark blue or black. And also be careful with the colors. You need colors that are neutral so that you can mix and match easily. So black, blue, beige, brown, white, ivory these kind of colors you know so here I chose a black turtleneck cashmere and then I chose another jumper with the v-neck because you need the v-neck for other uh, for other uh, events or situations or occasions the second one is uh, the third one sorry is the chunky knitwear that wear is very casual is it for the very cold days it's very casual it fits also with most of the capsule wardrobe that we are trying to create today so i chose it here in beige and it's a lighter tone a bit a bit, bit grayish but a lighter tone um than the first one uh, the chomper i showed you before so the next category is the t-shirts and the blouses why did i put them in the same category it's because they are all tops and i don't want you to buy more tops than you need so let's keep in mind this is a bit of a minimalistic uh timeless wardrobe okay um so first one is a t-shirt you need a t-shirt either white black 
um, blue, grey, you know those colours. Those t-shirts can also fit underneath your jumpers if you like to mix the white t-shirt with the v-neck jumper that is also a very nice look if you want to make it look casual you know also a crisp white shirt the crisp white shirt is a staple in every wardrobe it fits with everything we can use it we can dress it up dress it down make it look casual make it look formal you know very versatile the next item is the silk blouse. Silk blouse is more of a formal version of a shirt. Um, that is something you can wear for the evening or also for a meeting. It's very versatile. Also, I'm going to um, include for you some ideas in the end of how the outfits look would look if you mix these items and uh, from your capsule wardrobe mix them together and create versatile outfits or different outfits for different occasions. I'm going to put that in the end for you after I finish showing you the uh, items that I'm proposing to you for your capsule wardrobe. Okay, let's go to the next category, which is the bottoms. And mainly here, I'm going to talk about trousers. Trousers, you need one wool trouser, one pair of jeans, and another pair of corduroy trousers. So the colors that I highly um, recommend are dark colors. Those fit with everything, any top that you put with them. Even for jeans, you need to go for classic dark colors and classic cuts. Okay, the next category would be the dresses and the skirts. I put them together because they are a bit from the same family, you know, the fit comes a bit similar. So in this one, I have put four items for you. So it's the pencil skirt or maybe like a bit of a wrap skirt, you know, uh, mini skirt because it's very trendy. And this is also another trendy item I added in this wardrobe to just help you add a touch a bit of uh, trend in your wardrobe and then you have the blazer dress and the wrap dress. I have chose on purpose these items very close to each other in colour in a bit of a brown, charcoal, grey, a bit of a dark colours because these are easy to style in general. Okay, next category would be the footwear. Footwear is very important to have a bit of versatility and a bit of more options. So I put two, um, sorry, I put four items in for the shoes. Um, so first I will start with the sling bag with high heel. Those are for a more dressed up look. Then you have the flat ballerina shoes. This is also another trendy item I wanted to add here. Not very classic, but also... You can also look at it as classic because they are classic, they look classic but you know this year and the previous year it was very trendy as like an item to buy so it is a nice thing to wear if you want flat shoes but you don't want it to look casual, you want it to look a bit dressed up, that isn't a good option for that. Then you have the sneakers, white classic sneakers, I added here a picture of you know an idea of a classic sneaker, it doesn't have to be the Loewe, I put here the Loewe ones but you can buy more you know mm, more affordable brands that give you kind of nice classic white sneakers and the knee-high boots so some people uh, might find it difficult to wear knee-high boots because they have big calves which is i am the same person too so you can go for the ankle boots that also is a good option Okay, next thing and the final one, which is optional, you can add it and you can actually skip it. This is not very important, but I think the accessories is what gives a bit of personality to an outfit. So let's start with the accessories and have a look at some watches. Have a classic watch, maybe a mix of the two materials or the two um, metals. These two metals, if, when you mix them together, it can actually work on, on most skin tones. Then you have the stud earrings. Stud earrings are very classic, very simple, very discreet, and I think it's very chic when you add it into, uh, you know, your accessories. Also, you have gloves, leather gloves. You need to get them in a very dark color. Those look great with an outfit. You know, if it's very cold outside and you need gloves, those are really nice ones to have in your bag, and you can just, like, Take them out of your bag and just wear them, it looks very chic. Also a scarf, have a big wool scarf, or also you can have the uh, silk scarf. It's not going to keep you very warm during winter, but the big wool scarf definitely is a good option. A black leather bag, it can also be brown, but I definitely have to emphasize on the fact that you need to go for a good quality leather so that it lasts, so that it looks chic, 
so it looks elevated okay now that I have listed for you the items that you can go shop for uh, if you are a classic uh, style personality you want a minimalistic capsule wardrobe uh, you want to build your style or you want to change your style to this kind of style these are the items you want to buy so now I'm going to just share with you some ideas of how when you mix and match these items how the outfit looks and how many outfits you can actually get out of this uh, you know <laughs> out of this capsule wardrobe actually you can get way more than you think I will let you have a look at these and I will be right back okay I am back and I want to thank you for sticking with me until the end of this video so these people that I shared this uh, technique with and works with them they had they were not very savvy on styling themselves they were not really good on knowing how to put things together so once they have learned this and have applied it they found out that it took so much hustle from them thinking about what should I style you know the trousers with or how should I style this top with it was so easy for them without even being you know knowledgeable of how to style things so let's get into it okay let's start by saying that my technique is called the 636 method for minimalistic wardrobe this is um, based on first six categories of garments three uh, items per category and at least you can get six outfits out of this minimum six outfit I know that I've got more than six outfits out of this uh, wardrobe but minimum minimum if you are like really not knowledgeable of how to style yourself you will get at least six outfits out of it okay let's look at the application of this method and how you can do that so you need to look first into your style personality you need to know what is your style personality and for that reason I have a video on TikTok and I can just put more information for you if you need it just contact me and I will let you help you find your style personality and once you figure out your style personality it's so easy for you to create the 636 uh, capsule wardrobe so it is quite easy you follow exactly how I did it in the beginning from you know all the items I have shown you there are seven categories but skip the accessories accessories is just optional for you and then based on those categories you start buying three items per category and these items have to be uh, versatile and have to be you know able you have to be able to mix and match them and then you can come out with six outfits in the end at least six outfits I'm saying but I know that I have created more than 26 outfits out of a wardrobe like that so if you need more information about this don't hesitate to contact me I can teach you more about it I can give you more tricks and tips around how to style yourself and how to create your own wardrobe for your own needs and teach you more about the, my method thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video I will put all informations for you that you need down below go have a look if you're not following me on TikTok you need to go follow me there because I have so much information there I share so many tips so make sure to go and follow and I will see you in my next video I love you all and see you in my next video bye